cross cultural communication means here we will see that how to communicate effectively if you are in some environment where there are diff people of different culture are there right such communication is called cross cultural communication so there are some of the some of the tips if we if someone follow it follow these so it becomes easy to communicate effectively cross culturally so first very point over here is understanding the cultural differences right the first very thing one should know if someone is there in such situation where the people of different culture are there means people different than his own culture he should understand the cultural differences here he the first very thing is what cultural awareness he should have cultural awareness cultural awareness means he should be aware of the culture he should try to understand the culture of that, that new culture what are the ways of talking over there what are the social norms of, of them what are the beliefs of them right this one very thing then it becomes easier for him to communicate second thing in the cultural awareness is this that he also should know the know his own culture because in many cultures there are some cultural biases as the example is of the the people of third world they have biases against the uh, against the england or Brit britain people why because they had ruled on the this the most of the third world countries have been the colonies of them so the people have the, in the culturally they have some type of biases against them right against their culture so if a person from third world country does not understand that whatever whatever um, belief he has brought up into that was biased or not biased then it will not be easy for him to communicate if he understood that this thing is biased so he will not look at to those very people from that from that perspective which he has been raised right for example we think that the uh, we say if someone uh, wakes up late we say that the person is uh, like the, like he has come from europe or blah 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 so these are only the biased concepts then then we have the, so you need to know to be aware of your own culture and culture of them then respect and empathy next very point until you give respect to the perspective of the other person you will never be able to understand them you will never be understand able to uh, communicate because until you will give the respect you will not try to understand right so give respect to the uh, perspective of the that uh, next very person right then an empathy means try to be in their shoes try to understand the things from their angle then it will be easy to communicate next is the non verbal communication you should know the non verbal communication cues over there right that because it's non uh, verbal communication it varies from culture to culture in one culture some non uh, non verbal cues would have one meaning in other culture it has other meaning as i gave you the example like in uh, eastern countries looking into the eyes of the like uh, uh, of the like the listener it seems it, it is considered rude why in european countries if you do not look into the eyes of the people they think that you are not confident or you are guilty of something so this the differences of the meaning of these uh, non uh, non verbal cues it can create misunderstanding so one should know the non verbal cues next very point is language so of course if you know the language very good if you do not know the language try to at least learn the language of that very culture and if you do not understand the language try to ask them to clarify to you right next very thing is direct and indirect communication direct communication and indirect communication style 
in different cultures communication styles they are different some some communicate some uh, cultures direct communication style is preferred in some cultures indirect direct means when you say something directly indirect mostly when you say the things like uh, sugar coated i could say right so you wherever you are try to understand that what is their communication style whether it is direct they say the things bluntly on the face of the other person are they try to show politeness so whatever is their style try to adopt that style and don't get confused or don't don't interpret their if they are uh, they they are uh, they use direct style so don't if you know that this is their style of uh, communication you will not take it as rudeness right and there will be the the chances of conflict will be minimized next way thing is patience and tolerance that if you are in cross cultural communication you need to show patience and tolerance patience for what patience for this that you first you need to understand what is going on around you what are the, the differences of the culture this very thing you can learn only by the patience you have to keep patience you do not have to get hyper on the, uh, on the like differences as i told you if he, the someone is looking into your eyes so you do not think that he is rude to me right he is directly watching into my eyes he is not rude to you uh, rude to me and how you will learn it when you keep on patiently observing the so many people then you will see that yes so many people are uh, like uh, uh, like, like they, the, the most of them all of them they do talk like this so then you will understand that it is not rudeness so for this you need patience one thing tolerance tolerance means if they do something which you think is not appropriate or whatever so for that you need to show the tolerance until you understand what does it mean right so both the things are there then we have the next very that is the cultural sensitivity you should be aware of the few cultural sensitive, uh, sensitive issues of the, that very culture where you are there in every culture there are some uh, issues which are culturally um, sensitive right i have told you religion some religious issues they are culturally sensitive try not to use uh, these issues as a topic of your interactions right sometimes political issues sometimes there are some taboo uh, taboos which are like considered taboos in one culture and not in another culture so try to understand that what are those sensitive uh, areas and try not to use them in your conversation then the next one is seek feedback and clarification here as you are in new culture as your language is different as you you do not you are not familiar with this culture so what you need to do keep on seeking the feedback if you say something so ask from them that what they have understood right and clarification if they are saying some they have said something ask if you have not understood ask for clarification even in some cases if you have understood even then ask for clarification that you should not get it wrong right and the last very one is continuous learning this understanding the differences of culture is a continuous process right continuous process it is not something that in one year or two year you will 100% understand the culture of the other people so here what you need need to do you continuously keep on learning keep on learning and reflect self reflection should be there keep on learning and then keep on saying keep on watching that are you applying all those uh, things which you have learned on yourself or you are you have adopted or you have adjusted yourself according to all those differences or not and then the next way thing is keep on improving right learn from keep on learning keep on uh, practicing the self reflection and from self reflection keep on improving yourself so these were 
few of the tips I would say which can make a person effective communicator in the cross during the cross cultural communication. Right now, so I hope it is like uh, you have understood it.